Good afternoon, everyone. Joris Walsh here, streaming from the northeast of England in County Durham. And we are continuing with Mass Effect 3, part of the uh, playthrough of the Mass Effect trilogy, celebrating 10 years of the year uh, franchise. Uh, so it was on five hours last night. Uh, not a great lot of action, admittedly. Um, it was mostly uh, going around um, the Citadel and various other places, and a lot of uh, uh, asset collection as well. So we did uh, recruit Javik, though, um, on, and, and got that done. Uh, we also got Grissom Academy saved and reunited with Jack. Uh, so I think we're going to have a bit more action oriented uh, playthrough today because there isn't really uh, uh, anything else I could do other than carry on with the story. So um, I'm just going to refresh my memory on. <clears throat> Uh, some of the other things I've picked up. I think I've screwed that up. The resistance movement, because you can't go back to Eden Prime. And apparently, there's pickups now. Well, right, that's part of the new EGM. So I'm assuming something will crop up, which allows me to to deal with that. They're going to be part of N7 missions that I'll deal with over time. They won't start turning up until time that'll be an n7 mission and i'm assuming i'm just going to be running into these at some point anywhere as well so <sighs> right, i'm going to hold out for six points so then i can finish off fitness which I'm going to improve on health and shield. Because I don't really use melee that much. Um, I don't do a lot of punching. Um, Nova is still classed as a power rather than a melee, so... Uh, don't really need to worry about weight capacity. Squad bonus is probably better. And power damage and force as well on that one. Because <clears throat> I can improve shotgun just by virtue of improving the shotgun itself and mods. I'm not using Carnage a great lot. I probably should actually use it a bit more than I do, but... <laughs> Doing quite well for myself on War Assets, it seems. Well, there's at least some Eden Prime support, if not full, but...
So a Prothean, a real live Prothean, has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Mm. Commander? How's our new visitor adjusting to the ship, Edie? He appears not to understand the human custom of separate sex restroom facilities. I am attempting to enlighten him. I will update you if there is positive progress. Uh, how about you just update me if he doesn't get the message? Very well. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Yeah, so uh, yes, Javik has arrived. Part of the crew. We already did the uh, speaking to him last night. Yeah. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Commander. Yep, more assets. See, it's all stumping ground. Garrus has got anything interesting to say about our new crew member. I want to call down to Engineer as well, because we should have uh, uh, Gabby and Donnie back. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my time on the Normandy, Shepard. A talking Reaper, a talking Plant, and now a real live talking Prothean. Hell of a thing, waking up to find everything you know is destroyed. But I imagine the chance to get some payback is consolation. Doubt you and I. What do you suppose the Prothean eat? What if it's boiled Asari with a side of fried Turian? I don't know about Liara, but I'm not taking that one for the team. If this war goes south, maybe we could freeze you for 50,000 years, Shepard. You could go from being merely famous to legendary. Later. Yeah, screw that for a lock. <clears throat> a Prothean, a living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Good to see you again, Shepard. that I can in no way talk about? Say, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Alice. Let me know when we do. I knew this was coming. I just mean, as an 
amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra-light harmonic phase power cells. Mm-hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Ugh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Kenneth. <laughs> it's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Come on. Yes. <clears throat> Got him back in the crew. It's all good. I still can't believe it. A real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. You could say that. I hear the guy's not all there, exactly. Damn, <laughs> I can't imagine. Brought forward 50,000 years, last of your kind. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, here's hoping he can help us with the Reapers. I bet the elusive man's boiling in his brandy right about now. Took that Prothean right out from under him. Hey. Uh, some of my other models. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. As it should be. Get his head straight. Getting messages from her little sister. She's still in hospital at the moment. Uh, was due to go for visitation, but uh, she didn't have the best of days. But apparently, she's a bit better to, this morning. Also checking in with the uh, the bairn as well, the little one. 
Right. Um... I'm going to consult the map, but I don't think there's really much else to do. Is there? Oh, uh, some... Prothean sites have opened up. Commander, Admiral Hackett believes this system may contain assets we could use for the Crucible. Right. Okay, that's more than likely going to be fuel. I'll leave that be until I've uh, gone through the sectors. Feros. Thorian madness from the first game. Let's get the exogeny scientist back. And a little bit of fuel back for the travel back. some more fuel back. I've picked up intel, I'll have another bonus, I'll just go around the crew deck and get that sorted. <clears throat> Every bonus helps. Them, maybe not. Thank you. 
Right, I think uh, we'll move the story along then. Let's uh, get the Krogan storyline. The Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard varin. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us? To fight a war you couldn't win. It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkash. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Silence, bitch.
Let's take Javik out, Java out for a spin. Really liking the Slayer armor actually as well. Give him his uh, Let's give him something familiar. So the R is still waiting on points. Let's make sure these weapons are uh, going to be up to scratch as well. Uh... Yeah, Stark Channel's a uh, good biotic power to combo off as well. More damage per second. 33 seconds you can get them down like that. Obviously want more recharge all the time. And do more damage to barriers, etc. Good for now. Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. If they start backtracking, the angry Krogan act couldn't hurt. Who said anything about acting? Just try to keep it verbal. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Are you expecting trouble? Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have a Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Hey, Divination, good to see you again. Ah, it's me, brother. 
Control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatress authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? <laughs> Ah, all good stuff then. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable, Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. <laughs> Yep. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your the wreck shove. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. They were much smaller in my cycle. Yeah. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Yeah, I, I mean, it got to about, what, one o'clock in the morning, and I was pretty much tired, so, but, I mean, you know, I don't work weekends, so <laughs> it's not really that much of a, an issue, so I'm also trying to keep awake just in case I hear a word from my sister while she's in hospital. She's still fine, but uh, just trying to get updates from her, and obviously the, the new baby. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Oh, uh, well, she's given birth. First child. But it wasn't uh, a smooth birth, shall we say. So she had to uh, get a C-section. So she's still in uh, in recovery. Um, she was a bit uncomfortable last night, but otherwise everyone's fine. But uh, yeah, if you suddenly got to go through surgery, <laughs> then uh, for, for birth, then uh, yeah, it tends to knock you out a little bit. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course, I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Well, it's all kind of new information for me as well, but yeah. Like you say, we're just uh, getting updates as they go along. So, as I say, everyone's fine. They're just, you know, obviously knackered from the experience. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. <laughs> Shepard. I don't like this. I should be the one going in. I know I said to act the angry Krogan, Rex. That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. <laughs> Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tuchunka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. But Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeyer we'd be standing here doing this together? Huh. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. 
But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn Pijacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. <laughs> oh, I really wanted Javik to go on about the fact that the Salarian liver was a rare delicacy for them as well. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Krogan do enjoy reminding us about the Rachni Wars, don't they? And Asari never let us forget they're better looking. <laughs> it's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. <coughs> okay, there's two Solarians um, that I want to see. Uh, there should be uh, Kirihi. Around somewhere. There he is. Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. It's nice to see you, Major. Same to you, Dr. Tassoni. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. How did you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on Tachunka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. I say when people know you're hiding something valuable, they'll want to steal it. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. Yes, and he's rather angry about the security arrangements. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pig couldn't handle it. <laughs> security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Who's this? He's a friend. A Prothean. Prothean, of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactic, Commander? Give the Reapers a good scare? And what are you really? Drell? Turian? Prothean. Oh. I see. <laughs> Yeah, Liara seems to have been screwed up as far as where she's standing. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. This business with the females is part of it. I need the Turian support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much hand-holding. Leave it to the Dalatresses. 
Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. You'd do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. Be advised that visitors are present in this facility. Please refrain from discussing classified information. Another incursion? You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. <laughs> what do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Okay, here he is. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. Once more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine. If you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. We've already been down that road. No more. <sighs> Now take this elevator down and someone will... What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. Always got trouble on. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morden. Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG? Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Help female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encourage political pressure to free females. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes. Can explain later. Security warning's not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These... didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved... Indeed. Data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct a cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? 
Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Titan and my vessel have breached the perimeters. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Now, please release Krogan. <laughs> oh, Morden. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genef HQ. You'll see Tachunke again. I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. This isn't the time to delay, Commander. Try the elevator, Commander. Kick some ass.
You got everything? Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in the STG. Could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Exploding singularity within a ship, that's gonna hurt. Just, yeah, I mean, you know, dude, if you're going to pop up right in front of my face when I've got a shotgun. Nice one, Kiri Heat. I did the trick. Very mate. <clears throat> yeah, I don't care much for your. Uh... <laughs> Don't care much for your shields, mate. Armor piercing is in effect. Nice.
Yeah, there's nothing up here, is there? Nice. Yeah, I think uh, Piranha's the uh, good choice of shotgun because uh, situations where I just need to put him down quickly. It's an auto shotgun. I don't got to bleed cover. Containment shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. This isn't your problem, Commander. You don't know me. <laughs> but I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope Erd not Rex still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. We found the Krogan. That mocked him up. to me. these bastards. Get 
Stay clear. I've got this. Protect the Krogan Shepherd. She's vulnerable. Right, let's uh, rough this dude up. That's the shields dealt with. Warp that son of a bitch. Nice. Make this quick. <laughs> Let's get you out of this. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. <laughs> Cerberus here. What do you want? <laughs> Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin. Turians promised me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. <clears throat> To be fair, I mean, if you're going to take clear more, like, to your body, yeah. You're probably not going to be in a talkative mood. Crucible officially under Perhaps construction. Mm. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure. 
there's no alliance. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen for female. Also requires healthy male proven tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Oh. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morden. And make it quick. Always do. We'll be in med bay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. <laughs> Good old Rex. Okay, so the exigen is scientists from Pharos. And we got an array as well, didn't we, during pickup? Right, so when uh, more and more systems uh, lose out. And that obviously affects the uh, the score. Uh, Salarian STG has been added to the Special Forces. Major Cater here gets his own uh, asset as under the Salarians. Commander, you said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Chuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding. Your men that crashed on Tuchanka, how many are there? A platoon. 
You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The Commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. Victus? My son. I needed someone I could trust completely. The Salarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers. But I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. We had no choice. The Genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now, standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander. Right, so we've got an update on the uh, side mission we'll be doing on Tachanka. Hell of a show down there on Sirkesh, just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. Thanks, Rex. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlak Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What will you do after the Genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarian. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. Back on Sirkesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. Women have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. <laughs> so sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. What's the situation back on Tachanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tachanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Oh. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? <laughs> Uh, we'll get a chance to team up shortly. Oh, there's more Krogan. 
kind of stared at the Turians. Nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. That's um, part of the Expanded Galaxy mod. Uh, in the notes for the mod, it says that in between missions, they'll put uh, certain elements in there. Uh, for example, after I did the Grissom Academy rescue, David Archer was hanging around playing chess with himself um, in the AI core. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long range data. Can we license it? We can, analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of the shoebox. Yes, yeah, first time I'm using this mod, actually. Uh, one of the reasons for playing it, um, the trilogy, because I have had it mentioned to me before by mates. Uh, they said that, yeah, it's a really good mod. Um, so, yeah, not... Uh, not ex it's all pretty much new experience for me, actually. So, uh, significantly changes the way the war asset works, and you get information. Um, adds in a lot of extra missions. Um, yeah, just a lot of extra stuff um, to the game. Uh, and as I said, stuff like that. I mean, there's stuff like um, you can set assignments on who does what on the ship. Um, because I haven't got a full crew yet, that hasn't really uh, become a thing. You can set up a shooting range in the cargo bay. Um, you can get yourself a Mako or a Hammerhead to be in the cargo bay as well. Right. I think that's uh, an extra mission. Uh, information from Kirihi. Information from Farron. Yep. Uh, Rana. Rana's killed some civilians. Nothing for the Spectre Terminal. Yeah, so this screen here in particular is you're assigning normally personnel, but because I'm not, um, I don't have a full detachment yet.
Uh, you can see we've got those recovering technology from various targets, so yeah. On standby. Once I get a full complement of uh, people on board, then I can uh, obviously um, add in Sir Cade and his executive officer, for example. Oh well, we can make uh, Garrus that, you can lead the Marines. Executive Officer, I'll make Caden <coughs> when he uh, comes on board. to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too, or the Vorcha? Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance against the Reapers. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have Morden back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. <laughs> it is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. You and everyone else. What do you need, Edie? A Krogan female of breeding age can produce clutches of up to 1,000 fertilized eggs over the course of a year. There are over 1 billion females on Tachanka. If even 1% become fully fertile, they can birth 10 billion infants. On Earth, bugs have a lot of young, too. Most of them die. The attrition rate would naturally be high, but the state has an interest in keeping the children alive for warfare purposes. Any other cheerful thoughts? Logistics. Even were they to side with us, transporting the Krogan to the battlefield of Palavin could prove difficult. They have been demilitarized. That is, they have no warships. What do you suggest? They will need Turian or civilian starships to carry them to battle. With your permission, I will make the necessary calls to have these ships in place for when you deliver the Krogan. Do it. Anything else? Food. They will be unable to eat anything on Palavin. They must bring their own or rely on the nutrients in their humps. This keeps getting better and better. <laughs> the Krogan will also require sedatives, since Krogan fight with others of their kind in enclosed spaces such as starships. Make it happen. Are there any last things you're worried about? Nothing that demands your attention, Shepard. <laughs> He recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right. Transhumans have some of their brain's ability, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. <coughs> Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> uh. Yon Shackle and AI, what does it do? Starts telling jokes. Answers. 
It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Thanks for coming by. Right, yeah, I've got nothing new to say. We'll check in with Garrus. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. Okay. Now, I believe the reason why Garrus is in casual wear when he's on the ship and will eventually be in casual for the Citadel DLC is actually more to do with the recalibrated mod rather than expand the galaxy. Uh, transhuman is um, like going beyond uh, cybernetics. It's a case of you are literally a split between uh, synthetic and organic. Basically, the synth uh, the synthesis ending. I guess we're at war with Cerberus now, huh? I've never actually seen a female Krogan. Seems like they're the real brains on Tichonka. Good to see Morden still alive and kicking, and still finding new ways to cause trouble. Not right now. Aware Krogan females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, a bit aggressive, almost like Krogan. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. <laughs> ah, Shepard. We were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. This one is different. Is he? What's that? Simple blood test. What kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distraction's counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's released my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. Understand. But my patient, my responsibility. Her welfare, a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. <laughs> you got a quad, Doctor. Keep her safe. <laughs> Our females have endured enough. Don't forget, still need your tissue samples. I'll be back. Common phobia. Fear of needles. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. Maybe with an inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzed... Um, it's not Prothean cybernetics. Okay. Uh, so clip capacity is doubled, but thirty per twenty percent drop in health.
No, I don't fancy that. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. That's a brutal initiation. But an illuminating one. You learn to appreciate the light by living in the dark. What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half of Tachanka, he's the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. But I won't tell him that. His head's big enough already. <laughs> Literally. He's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us, though not all the other clans see it that way. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it. But I hope Rex resists. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the Genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands hoping a Thresher Maw would kill them and end their torment. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Yes. After my first stillborn. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always a next. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers seeking targets to justify their existence, excuses to earn them honor. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tashanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. It's time females took back our place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I found Malin's lab. It looked like a dungeon. His experiments were brutal. 
We learned that too late. He meant well, but his methods grew more barbaric as he went. We finally escaped into the rubble. Eventually, a Salarian team found us. They saved our lives. We were so sick. I'm sorry none of the other females survived. I know. The youngest one, Kern, was the last to go. But she knew she would enter the void free of this curse, and then smile when she looked down upon the children of Tachonka. Her spirit will be the midwife to my firstborn. Just getting a message one second. Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry watcher offspring have an allergy to dairy and da 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 Well, it wasn't his ear. <laughs> He's still singing. Thanks for talking to me. <clears throat> it's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Getting other messages in as well. Looks like uh, I've got a confirmed time of visitation to see the sister and the baby. Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Yeah, apparently they're still fine. Uh, we'll be going in to visit uh, in a couple of hours. So I think we've got about an hour's worth of game and I can do, and then uh, I'll be heading off. But yeah, apparently uh, they're all doing well. She's recovering slowly, uh, so she's still in a bit of pain, but she's still recovering. Um, I reckon probably back out uh, after the weekend. I mean, she's on paternity leave anyway for next year, so it's not like she has to go anywhere. So. <laughs> How 
How is she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. <laughs> you care about her? My patient. My responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. So, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. So the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve mutagen as well, tune hormone production, long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat, outlet for aggression, cooperative symbiosis. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong? Possibly. Stakes too high for inexperience. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure. Work against collectors. Decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny. Sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You'd go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. <laughs> oh, Morden. Cotters are still working on his uh, ship, leave him be. wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. I hear we're headed to Tachunka. Would love to see how things turn out. I'm just saying. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. Dumb right. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Hey, Commander. Oh, that's a decent amount of credits we've got there, I think. Uh... Piranha at uh, Maxim.
get them up to rank 5 at least. with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Commander? Right. Okay, so protein data collected then. So this is one of the uh, missions as part of uh, Expanded Galaxy mod. So a side mission's being picked up at a, a Volus base uh, to go to various protein sites. So it's literally just like a scan mission. I found something. And then, uh, as a result, we should be getting some... Uh, rewards over the course of time from the place. Colonial support updated, apparently. 50% uh, assets recovered, so that last one's going to be fuel. I'll leave that be until I actually need fuel. Obviously nothing there. Signal confirmed. No Reaper interference either, apparently. So I can stop my fuel again. And apparently that's all it was. Fair enough. <laughs> Max out my fuel again. going to accept credits so that'll be fuel leave that be uh, 
apparently nothing in that one. Signal confirmed. Fair dues. Get a bit of fuel back then. Right, so because we chose the Turian veterans over the criminals, let's remove that one. Right, let's uh, not get the Reaper's attention too much. See nothing in these sectors. Okay, <clears throat> side mission anyway. <laughs> well, why aren't I not going to bring Rex along with this? So, since he's on the ship, thanks to uh, uh, Expand the Galaxy mod, <laughs> we can have him as a temporary companion. So, uh, hell yes. Uh, I'm not coming off that Slayer armor at all because that's this has been really, really good for a Vanguard build. That's something else from Expand the Galaxy mod. Um, it's introduced the Lord of Armor from the multiplayer sets. Uh, and the Slayer armor is built for Vanguards, so I've got so much power recharge and bonus right now, it's great. Okay, we want to give Rex big shotguns. Give him a clear more. Uh, pistol. Give a blood pack pistol. Javik's good with the stuff there. Right, I got yeah, I got two level ups uh, on Sakesh. So, as I say, melee, I'm not going to bother. So more health and shields always going to be good. I don't melee stuff that much. Um, uh, yeah, and just just generally more stats for uh, the squad is better, and I'll increase power, damage, and force next time around when I've got enough points. 
Uh, then I'll max out Shockwave. I've still got 20 levels to go because the max is 60. Um, so I'll be able to probably max out most things. Uh, I'll probably not full out pull because pull's only so much. Uh, so Carnage might be the thing to go for. Right, lift grenades are actually quite good, so <clears throat> let's get them done. <clears throat> oh, Rex. Let's make you a tank. Change in the situation, Commander. Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Krogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from the Tyrian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Weapons? They were only animals then. Without technology. Violent, but useful. When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. Still, it's troubling there are rumors at all. It's been years since you released the last Rachni queen on the condition she disappeared forever. She was desperate to save her race. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <clears throat> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal, and being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey. <laughs> Glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes, you are the one. The Krogan who occupied my quarters on Normandy. Who left your mark. What? Who is this, Shepard? You shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents. Even to my people. Ask me later. <sighs> Whatever you say. <laughs> we don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. 
We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. <laughs> Our luck company! Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Uh, Grunt's happy. Grunt's happy bunny, and I've got Rex teaming with me on this mission as well. Not really going to get much in the way of weaponry. Um, weapon damage there, so leave that be. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. Like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way. <laughs> Ahead of us. I see it. Grunt. Got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah. If he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. Webbing. Looks like it. We are at a disadvantage, Commander. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Yeah, there's a bit of a hate track Geiger uh, vibe going on right now. Get up, Javik.
Get out of husks. Yeah, when in doubt, punch things. Our exit is cut off. Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Making sure everything is cleared on the way out. Commander. Go away. You'll recognize the Krogan as well once you hear the message. A large area, Commander. Expect trouble.
Au! Marvelous. Oh, go on, Grunt, go on. Sit down. Stopping us. That was Reaper Tech. <clears throat> we ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. <laughs> Krogan, get ready. Caution. 
That does not look like a Ragnite nest. Grunt, we've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. Move it! Damn it! Locate the power node.
Copy that. Oh, hello again. Reapers did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. I let you go back to Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We kept our promise. Retreated back to the relay. can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Release us! here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We, we hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really not. She's weak. She needs time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here, our that company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Our that company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team. On my way! Commander? That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Shot grunt. Something's down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard.
Da war der Grunt. Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Nah, he's fine. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? <laughs> Good stuff. I'm reviewing your report on the Rakhni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rakhni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rakhni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. Now nah, you were right there. <laughs> <clears throat> it was bloody, Rex. We could have used you. He was there. I'm talking rather than fighting. Feeling restless. A war going on, and I'm stuck keeping the peace. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Ragnite Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. We'll get him patched up, back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. And synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure is ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless unless given to entire species. You're usually full of ideas, Morden. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course. Always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No. Too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait! Yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles, built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. If you're going to infect an entire population, that's the way to do it. Unless you're part of the population. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector. Then you Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie, Jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morton. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcom. Yeah, we're not going to go there yet. We're going to do all the side missions first. Start some Krogan uh, support. Shepard, so I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I guess
together you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah. Sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle event out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole, just trying to stay alive. What about the Reavers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Need something, Shepard? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. <clears throat> yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Oh. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. And at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long-range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. Commander?
get some extra uh, crew options sorted then. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, we learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Mm. He says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. Commander? Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior? Turian behavior. I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as flabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonex Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garbuck. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garbuck. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Just randomly turn up in the room and I get war at it. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only a hundred and nine, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Or you could keep fighting. I'll always try my best, Shepard. You know that. But if we lost you... We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. Hello, Shepard. Oh. A pleasure to see you. Garrus isn't here, I bet he's uh, chilling in the uh, cavern area. 
probably where you've got Javik as well, actually. Wasn't the first time we've faced Ragnai. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragnai Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead Reapers now. Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? Let's hope this finally pays off. Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy? We're a regular safari tour. If I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. Not right now. No, that would... Mm. <laughs> Perhaps... Stimulate cell regeneration with a... <laughs> Could... Oh. Ah, but... Should test with... <laughs> That's worse. Yeah, Grunt's getting seen to by medical team. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Borg. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in the meantime. saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. Commander. I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked. Until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. I am glad I met the grunt, Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. I would prefer to be alone. Yeah, nothing there to grab it seems.
crikey, that's a lot of places. Got the Mirko back apparently as well. Got some pirates. fuel I think for long so a best refill there Core living tanks. Arcturus station destroyed. side mission done then. <clears throat> well, so keen to use Rex 
that uh, it didn't make sense to use them actually given these conversations so I'll remember that for the future uh, not to use them for that mission but uh, I'm still going to use them for this one let's go classic garrison Rex Make you quality sniper. Shepard, server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate, and the server squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, service is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. So this is one of the multiplayer maps. Shot Garrus. Seems like Rex is kicking ass. Oh, 
we die together. I need that pick up for that other side quest that uh, confirms the death of the other soldier. Remember where it's at.
Yeah, I still haven't got that yet, I don't think. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need a reminder of where that is. One moment. Should be dog tags around here. There we go. I did pick him up, right? Must have done, right. We're getting reports of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual M.O. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying the foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Uh, I'm always going to appreciate extra funding as well. Krogan still staring at those Tur Turians as well. Try again. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Commander? Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So... 
I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was also a powerful biotic, nearly unstoppable when he charged into a fight. He was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. It's good to have a crew I can trust. Maybe we don't always say it so plainly, but we're proud to be here, Shepard. And proud of you. Thanks. Uh, a little bit of time with Liara. Right, I, I'm going to have to call it there because I'm going to head off and uh, visit my sister and the new baby. So, a little bit more action oriented this time around compared to yesterday. Uh, and that will continue as well. Tomorrow, we'll have uh, the other side missions to do into Chanka and then the curing of the genophage. So, making good progress. Still plenty more to go, though. So, uh, appreciate anyone that's been uh, watching. Davination, thanks for chatting in again. Uh, I will be on streaming probably again sometime, either just before midday or just after midday for the good uh, portion of the afternoon. Uh, again, you can also find me on YouTube. Just look for Jodas Walsh, and it's got permanent archive of uh, all my streams there as well so you can obviously catch up with everything I've done throughout the trilogy so far but otherwise I'll end it here uh, so again thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow <laughs>